All companies need to brand themselves, especially when the economy is struggling. We'll be talking about that with a pro- promotional products expert next on The Jeff Curley Show. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Well, the promotional products industry is a large one, and it's been going on for generations, but they keep reinventing themselves and coming up with new creative ways to brand uh, their their clients. To talk about that today, Jeff Hall with the Ritchie Company, thank you for coming back on the show. Thanks for having me on. Well, I love to have you on because you always bring an assortment of items that go way beyond the typical koozie or t-shirt. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so are you finding that your clients are looking for something more unique? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm finding a lot of different requests. I've had requests lately for uh, for yoga mats. I've had requests for people that would normally be asking for koozies are now asking for an insulated tumbler that they can personalize with a person's name on it. And uh, and that's that's become a big deal with the pandemic. They don't they want to make sure the drinkware isn't getting accidentally passed from person to person. So yeah, lots of lots of different requests and, and unique for sure. Well, you brought some show and tell items for us today. Why don't you kind of run through them for sure, us? Sure, sure. So what I wanted to do with today was talk about corporate Christmas uh, corporate holiday gifts. Yeah. And uh, so I brought some ideas for that. Uh, this is one that I was just talking about. This is a uh, this is a insulated canteen. Um, it's great for if you're going to an event and want to take a drink with you, uh, this will hold, hold a, what is it? This is 25 ounces yep. and works just like a, just like a, a Yeti would. Um, really good. You can personalize this. You'll see that's the Ritchie company. I've personalized it with Angela and, uh, and that makes it kind of COVID safe. It's not one that's going to get accidentally picked up by the wrong person. Um, other items that we have that people may consider for a, for a corporate Christmas idea is, um, I've got a, uh, I've got a, a salsa gift basket here. This is Texas Sweet Heat Salsa. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really good. This is There's a mild and a medium in there. Uh, to be honest, neither one of them is hot. There's a little bit of heat with some sweet behind it. Um, it's a really good salsa. This salsa has won several awards and really good. It also comes with a uh, jalapeno cheese ball mix. And if so, I wanted to personalize it and call it Krilly's Hot Sauce or something like that, I could? If you wanted to do that, uh, we offer in this gift basket, we can drop in a card uh, yeah. that you can personalize. Sure. So anything you want to, any special message you want to put in there for a client or employee, we can definitely do that before we heat, heat wrap, heat shrink the, uh, the gift box. Gotcha. So um, when you're thinking corporate Christmas ideas or corporate holiday ideas, normally you think travel. You think okay, travel related is, is a big is a big area to go. Not so much this year. People really aren't traveling. So when I was pulling ideas together for today, I started thinking of things more that would be home and family related. Um, you know, I've got a uh, I've got a Bluetooth speaker here, and a lot of people would go, you know, everybody's got three Bluetooth speakers. Why would anybody want another? Well, you might you may want one like this. This has got great sound. It's really good. But if you've got employees that are that are working from home, beyond the good sound, that is an excellent uh, speakerphone for conference calls. And uh, so it's a great work from home and uh, and just have at home and enjoy gift. Sure. So and you got a cooler. I do. I have a cooler. This is a uh, this is a Patriot 20 cooler. Um, you've seen everybody's seen the hard sided uh, Yeti coolers, mm-hmm. and uh, they're great. They hold ice forever. They uh, they're also bulky and sometimes a little hard to maneuver. This will hold ice just like a Yeti, um, but it's much easier to much easier to handle, take with you, much easier to store. Really, really good cooler. So something people might really enjoy. And you, you brought a couple of garments. I did. I did. Um, garments are always a good idea for uh, for corporate Christmas gifts. This is a ladies' jacket. Um, it's really lightweight. It's really, really warm. Really yeah. warm. Um, this is an example of where we'd logo on the front left chest. Yep. Sometimes somebody says, you know, I don't know if my employees are going to want to have this front and center. 
we can also logo back here behind on the back. So perfect. Uh, different ways, different ways to do the apparel that looks really good. But that's a ladies, uh, that's a ladies jacket that's really good. I also have a men's. This is another example of a men's uh, quarter zip, and this is more of a sweater. Um, this one's made by Cutter and Buck. It's a really, really nice jacket. Yes. Or, and uh, and would be really good for nights, weekends, maybe a casual day in the office. Be really good. And a blanket. So, and a blanket. Um, I was talking about uh, looking at things that are family oriented, home. Mm -hmm. um, and so I have this, I have a really nice blanket that we offer. Um, you wouldn't believe since the pandemic started how many, how many different uh, movie nights we've had at our house. You look at my couch and there's my wife, two kids and the dog and everybody but the dog has a blanket. Got it. <laughs> so, so this would be something that a, lot, that a lot of families would enjoy having at home. A great way to put your logo on, not be intrusive. It's a, it's, it would be a good item. I love that and I encourage everybody to follow Jeff on social media because he's got some great videos and, and let's show one of them now. The Fierce Floating Wireless Speaker is the perfect accessory for your next trip to the beach, pool, lake, or any other water-based experience. The wireless speaker features high-definition Bluetooth 4.2 technology and can be paired to your device from up to 30 feet away. The 2000 milliamp hour battery allows you to listen for up to 8 hours and the carabiner attachment makes it easy to bring the speaker with you wherever you go. The speaker also includes an audio and charging cable. Don't forget your fierce floating wireless speaker on your next adventure or trip to the pool. Very cool. And so I guess you could put your logo on there? You could definitely put your logo on that. And that's another great at-home item and uh, would get, get a lot of use around a pool. Tell us about what it's like to work with you for the first time. Do you sit down and show them your catalog or, or how does that work? You know, I really try to have a consultative process. It's, it's great when people come to me and have an idea. Um, sometimes it's best if they don't come to me with something really specific because if, if they'll come to me with an idea we can find lots of different directions to go and lots of different ways to personalize it. You know, if they come to me with a specific idea I can definitely fulfill that uh, but it, it limits us to just that idea. Uh, but if they come to me and, and we're able to treat this like a consultative process, a lot of times they'll come saying, I like this little tumbler. And then, you know, when it's all said and done, they say, I like the canteen better. Mm. And I like the personalization. I hadn't hadn't thought of that. So um, so working with somebody is it generally goes really well. People, uh, we, we do well. I know the last time you were in, you were doing a lot of COVID mask covers. We were. Yeah, we were doing a lot of COVID, uh, COVID related stuff. That's not so not such a big uh, market for us anymore. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're doing a few face masks here and there, but not quite as much. We still do sell the. You remember the cootie key? Yeah. We do sell quite a few cootie keys still. Yes. Well, let's go ahead and pop up your website and just show kind of the wide range. Look at that home and kitchen, drinkware, uh, candy and snacks. That's always popular. Let's uh, uh, cash. Go ahead and click into candy and snacks. Can never get too much of that stuff. Tell us, uh, what do you recommend when when you're looking at uh, at snack food? You know, when we're looking at candy and snacks, we've got a lot of different things we can do. Um, we can do we can do M and M's and actually put your logo on the M and M. That's cool. Uh, yeah, we can also do chocolate where your logo's in the chocolate. There's lots of different ideas we can do. We've got lots of great gift baskets we can do where we'd actually logo the candy or we just logo the basket. Yeah. You know, if you want people to know they're getting Godiva, you don't want to cover that. Right. So you're going to put your logo on the basket. So uh, there's lots of different things we can do there. Candy's a really good, really good holiday item. What's the weirdest thing you've ever been asked to put a logo on? Um, weirdest thing I've ever been asked to put a logo on. Um, it's I've been asked to put logos in, in places you wouldn't you wouldn't think. Um, everybody wants their logo here. A lot of times people say, well, can you put it, can you put it here? Can you put it on top of the cap? So people get really, get really creative with where they want their logo. Mm -hmm. um, weird items, all kinds. <laughs> <laughs> all kinds. I bet. And this is a busy season for you, right? This is this, when everybody's making their corporate gift decisions. This is a busy season. We just ended the fiscal year with a lot of our clients. And now we're rolling into corporate gifts. So yes, we're doing a lot of, and we're doing a lot of kidding where people will say, I'd like to, I'd like to do this shirt with this hat and I'd like to throw in this this canteen. So we're doing a lot of kidding where we box it all up and it's ready it's ready to hand to the customer. And tell everybody why a personalized gift like this um, is a little bit more meaningful to the to the client or uh, right. customer than 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 a uh, 
you know, a gift certificate or something sure. like that. Well, you know, this year more than any other, you know, we everybody says this year is unprecedented, but this year more than any other, your your employees have really come through for you. Most of them are doing the jobs of two and three of two and three people. You know, you want them to know not only did you want to give them a gift, but you put some thought into it. Yes. You know, you put some real thought into it, and here's something that I that I think you'll like. You know, and the other thing you might want to consider is as you're giving them a gift, like these these headphones, really nice gift. They're really nice JBL headphones. Something they're going to use in their home. You know, you may want to consider. Let's make the logo. Let's make the logo. Well, how do I? Love. Yeah. Yeah. Make the logo small. You know, so it's not obtrusive. They're going to see it. They're going to know who gave it to them. They're going to remember you. But it's you're you're inviting yourself into their home. So that's something you may consider as you're as you're looking at this. How can I put my logo on but not be too intrusive? Outstanding. Jeff Hall, the Ritchie Company. We're going to put the website up so everybody can get in touch with you. RitchieCompany.com. Uh, you have to come back again. We, we need to make this a reoccurring event. <laughs> Will do. Thank you, you so much. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time. 